2018 is shaping up to be a crazy year, with Kawasaki releasing another supercharged motorcycle, the H2SX, and now Ducati is upping the ante in the superbike competition. Watch out Aprilia, there's a new V4 in town, and this one is red. I present to all of you the brand new 2018 Ducati Panigale V4. What you just heard was the new sound of the V4 Panigale racing by at nearly 200 miles per hour. V4 motors are the best motor configuration there ever is for a motorcycle. Seriously, forget your inline threes and your fours, singles, V-twins, forget all of that. The V4 engine is the single major reason why I find myself attracted to the VFRs. I also find myself attracted to the Prilia RSV4s, and again, the reason why is because that engine is simply magical. But enough about those bikes, let's talk about the Panigale V4. Let's start with the most unbelievable spec. I've ever seen on a stock production bike. In fact, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but this Panigale is the best power to weight ratio street legal production bike you can buy for 2018. 2018 Panigale V4, 1103cc 90 degree V4 engine, cranking out 214 horsepower, 92 and a half foot pound of torque. It is 386 pounds dry or 175 kilograms. Now if the unbelievable V4 sound of this bike does not win your decision and these ridiculous specifications didn't make you jump out of your seat, then you are left to gaze at quite possibly the most stunning looking motorcycle ever created. The lines on this bike are absolutely perfect. The single sided swing arm, perfect. The front end, perfect. The tail section, perfect. The rims, bodywork, tank, clip ons, all perfect. This bike defines perfection in every single way. You guys know I'm not a Ducati fanboy. I've never even ridden one before, but damn it, if this is not one of the coolest bikes for 2018, hell, this is the bike for 2018. In fact, this quite possibly could be the best bike of the decade. We know this thing is fast. It looks amazing. It sounds ungodly. But let's also talk about some of the features that this bike comes with. Surprisingly, this Ducati is very well equipped. It's hardly just a track bike with lights. The Ducati V4 has self-canceling turn signals. I know, I know. I had to double check this to make sure it's true, but it is. Self-canceling turn signals on a superbike. It also has a sack steering damper, daytime running lights, full LED headlight, quick shifter up and down, launch control, traction control, wheelie control, cornering ABS, brake control, slide control, even auto tire calibration. The V4 Panigale comes in three flavors. The Panigale V4, which is the standard model, and it comes in at 21,195 US dollars. The Panigale V4S, which increases the price to a $26,995, but it also adds in Olin suspension and some smart EC 2.0 system with additional top level components like aluminum forged wheels and a lithium ion battery. And then finally, we have the Panigale V4 Special Edition, which leaves the price all the way to an astounding $39,995. This is a limited production bike of only 1500 units, which of course will be numbered. Also, it will come with a different color scheme, an Alcatara seat, carbon heel guards, and other elements in aluminum as well, and is equipped with none other than the stunning looking Akropovich exhaust. These changes jump the power up to 226 horsepower at 13,750 RPM, and 98 and a half foot pound of torque at 11,000 RPM, while simultaneously dropping the dry weight of this bike to 380. 81 pounds. The seat height is 32.48 inches, so it's not particularly tall either, and the curb weight is going to be right around that 430 pounds wet, give or take, depending on what model you choose. The suspension in the V4 is a Showa 43mm front fork and a Saks rear shock, both of which are fully adjustable for preload and damping. Stopping this rocket ship is the Brembo 4 piston calipers over 330mm dual discs on the front. Did you really expect anything less? Now for my favorite part about these new bikes, the dashboard, gauge cluster, whatever you want to call it, and the Ducati settled for nothing less than a full color 5 inch TFT display, which of course has a gear indicator in it, a power mode indicator, a clock, warning lights, temperature gauge, etc., and so much more. The V4 Panigale does come with a 7,500 mile, 12 month warranty. And check this out guys, the valves only need to be adjusted every 15,000 miles. It also features a hydraulic wet slipper clutch, which I greatly prefer over the dry clutch system typically found in Ducatis. There's no denying it any longer guys, Ducati proves itself 
once again the Ferrari of the motorcycle world. They're Italian red, they are stunning to look at, amazing to hear. They are absolutely top of the line in terms of performance. What an incredible machine. And this is the first V4 Panigale that's ever come out. And the reason why the V4 is so special is because it's simply the best configuration, in my opinion. They're just so linear and very torquey and very powerful. This leads to a bike that is very fast, but also kind of easy to ride. Not that a beginner would have any place on this bike, but you know what I mean. I'm going to admit something now to you guys. I've never been a Ducati fan. I've always admired their bikes for aesthetics, but when it comes to ever owning one, I just can never see it. But I could see myself owning this. Obviously putting money aside because I can't afford it, but I would love to have this bike in my stable. There isn't a single other superbike out there that is as stunning to look at, and these specs are completely off this planet. More horsepower in stock form than a Kawasaki Ninja H2, which is insane. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you to say about this amazing machine. Hopefully I'll be able to make more videos about this in the future. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos similar to this one, then consider subscribing. I try to make a new video every single week. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you would enjoyed it. Have a great day. Take care and bye bye.